Hello everyone, this is Fork, and today I'm going to be playing some Stellaris. Um, I've been preparing this playthrough for quite some time since the release. I've been waiting for various mods to come out, um, as well as creating my own uh, to sort of work with what I'm trying to do here. Uh, it's kind of going to be a unique gameplay. Um, I'll explain a few things as we go. Uh, first, when it comes to the mods that I'm using, I'm using quite a lot of them. Um, so I'll make sure I list those in the video description, um, as well as links to the, the Steam Workshop places. Um, there is one mod that I'm running that I just use for personal use that's not up a Steam Workshop, uh, but it shouldn't be one that other people would be interested in. So, what am I doing? I'm going to create, essentially, the uh, Asimov universe as depicted in his... Uh, Robot Empire and especially Foundation series. Um, how I'm going to do this is rather than actually just sort of creating uh, a static universe, you know, as we already know, <clears throat> I'm going to sort of create it organically. So what I've done is I've created um, right now what's called the Imperial Domains. It's not the Galactic Empire yet. <clears throat> um, so it is a right now an enlightened monarchy. That will eventually change into more of a decadent empire type thing as it gets larger. But right now it's an enlightened monarchy. Um, I have am using names, uh, nameless from Asimov's books. So right now the first emperor is Cleon, Cleon Entun. Uh, and everyone should be the Entuns at this point. Um, and as we go, we'll eventually sort of create sectors which will represent the sort of sectors that are in the foundation series and then eventually break them off into vassals and and let them become independent so the foundation eventually will become independent calgon anacreon all those sort of areas will become independent as we go um it's going to sort of happen organically though so it's not going to match perfectly i do have sort of set aside what the sort of galactic map is supposed to look like in uh, Asimov's books, and I'm going to try to recreate that um, as we go. So as I create um, new colonies and such, I will be naming them in, in, as close to the location where they are in, re in relation to um, uh, how Asimov places them. So right now, for instance, we're starting on Earth, um, and but eventually we will head towards the core, the galactic core, try to find a very large uh, maybe Gaia or continental world um, and name that one Trantor and then eventually we'll move the capital to Trantor um, I have installed a mod which lets you uh, eventually develop city worlds um, like Trantor or Coruscant from Star Wars so eventually Trantor will change into a city world um, but that's all going to happen sort of organically as we go um, it's not going to, again, match perfectly um, the Asimov universe, but the point is not to have us do that. It's the point to sort of see how we can s sort of replicate it while at the same time kind of having fun and let us be surprised by things. Now, there are a few big changes that I've made. Um, the first is there are no fallen empires and there are no AI. So um, right now I am the only person out there. It's going to be a very human-centric game. Um, now, there are still uh, primitive civilizations, so pre-FTL uh, uh, civilizations out there and races. We'll encounter them and deal with them as we as we go. Um, but I didn't want to really deal with any of that competition. Now, one might be asking, well, that's going to be a rather boring game. And it's going to be more of a narrative type game. It's not meant to be sort of a st the big strategic game. But eventually, with ethics divergence and factions, things will eventually break up. And the goal is that once we sort of are kind of galaxy-wide human civilization, it will. Ha what will happen is exactly what happened in Asimov's Foundation series, the Prelude to Foundation and the first Foundation book, which is that the Galactic Empire will break apart into its various uh, sectors and areas, and eventually we'll have a galaxy full of human, independent human. Uh, civilizations and AIs. Um, that's, of course, way down the road. Um, so we're really going to be dealing with exploration to begin with. Uh, we will be dealing, of course, with, uh, you know, your various 
um, uh, alien uh, uh, spacefaring things like the space amoebas. Um, anomalies will still occur. There will be things like the precursor stuff. And of course, much later on, we can have many of the crises, in-game crises will happen. So um, it's going to be it's, it's going to be a narrative. I'm going to try to create it into a narrative um, and sort of try to tell this human story of a human. Because uh, there's a lot of science fiction out there where there are no other aliens. There is just humans really in the galaxy. And I kind of want to go for that. Um, we are going to I have done certain things like, for instance, I have if you look up here, there's 11 control planets that we can directly control. That's going to allow us to expand a little bit easier, I think. Um, I haven't really put anything in here that will uh, that sort of cheat or easy mode, though. So it's not going to it's just that they won't be AI competition. Uh, so right now, for instance, our governing ethics are we're xenophobes, so that uh, so when we do encounter the primitive civilizations, we'll be able to deal with them in uh, a particular way, including uh, s slavery if we need be, or just eradicate them. Um, for all we know, all we know though, while the aliens will eventually rise to become an AI civ that I'll have to deal with, and I will do so. Uh, we're also pacifist at the moment. We're not really at war with anyone. We're a unified human civilization. Um, so we're not geared towards a uh, uh, military. Um, while that will probably stay the same for us um, throughout, um, obviously once we start getting factions and breaking apart, we might have more military-oriented civilizations or uh, human uh, uh, sectors and then eventually break off civilizations to deal with. And of course, we're also uh, materialist. Now eventually, and we're, as I said, we're enlightened monarchy. This can eventually change. And I do have a mod installed by another person who was obviously a Foundation uh, 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 fan. Um, and again, I will list, uh, I forget his name off the top of my hat, but I will list his information down in the video description uh, where he created things like the Encyclopedic Foundation government type and Declined Emperor Empire government type. Um, eventually, we will turn into possibly a Declined Empire um, once we have expanded quite a bit. And then once we find a planet that we can make into Terminus, um, I will, what we'll do is we will eventually expand out maybe to, you know, one of the, R, the ends of one of these galactic arms. We'll find a planet that would that makes sense for Terminus. We'll name it Terminus. And then uh, once we create a vassal, maybe have them uh, become an encyclopedic foundation. Um, this will require occasionally between playthroughs that I go in and tweak things in the save file to make sure that they come up right. For instance, once I create the foundation, essentially, uh, way down the road, I'll want to use a uh, personalized flag for them. And so that's something I'll have to do with, um, with altering the save files. But I'll be sure to let you know when I do that and what I'm doing. Um, I, again, I have a lot of mods installed, too many to list. Um, but you'll see them as they pop up. Well, the first one that you might hear is that I have a music mod, which is adding a lot of different music to the game. Um, so I think that's about it to begin with. Um, so we're going to just start here on Earth. We're just going to expand and explore. Um, I'm going to pay attention a lot to what to the actual anomalies. I know in a lot of playthroughs I watched that the anomalies kind of get skipped over the details of them and people just sort of play through them as, a, as part of the strategic game. Um, because I'm not dealing with AIs, um, I do actually want to sort of delve into those and create stories out of them. And so I'll do my best to kind of make it uh, that more, a little more interesting. Um, so, yeah, so why, let's be, go ahead and begin. We're starting with Emperor Cleon uh, Entun the, the first. Um, he is expansionist, which is perfect. That's actually what we're kind of looking for um, right now. And a champion of the people plus unhappiness. That also makes sense to begin with. Uh, that was completely random. I'm just glad I got them. Um, I am, did do a, um, what do you call it? A mm. traits mod, which adds various traits. And so the, for humans at the moment, uh, we are conservationists. So um, basically the natural state, where, uh, the basic blocker times have been reduced and the costs have been increased. Uh, the, the time in there was, has been increased. Uh, to clear blocks, this will create... Because uh, I do tend to find that clearing blocks is really easy and cheap. And so this will sort of balance that out a little bit. 
Uh, we're also individualistic, so that will allow us for a lot of ethics divergence, which is what we want, so to create factions. Um, we are also industrious, which makes sense for humans, and extremely adaptive, um, which uh, I tend to find would make sense for humans because we, we tend to be very adaptive just on our own planet, which has almost every biome you can possibly think on it. So, um, and we have a continental preference, of course. So right now, that's our traits. Um, is the conservationist one, that which we saw here in the government modifiers, conservationists, um, which is going to make it more difficult to do that. Um, there are a lot of other, like, for instance, I have the civilian trade mod, so once we have a colony, we'll kick up with that. Um, and then those are our current demographics. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and see who we're dealing with with our leaders. Um, we'll go ahead and put our science ship, the ISS Iwamoto, uh, run by P Publis Pulver, who is leader lifespan 25. Perfect. We'll give him passive stance and go ahead and have him start surveying the system. Put on normal speed for now. Uh, our construction ship, our fleet, uh, the Doolittle O'Hara and Mitchell Lexis. Let's go ahead and hire an admiral. Let me see. Gilmer Munn Tindamalo, Arcadia Lurin. Let me see. Gale Speed, Aggressive, and Adaptable. Um, I like Gale Speed. That's a really good one for an Admiral. So let's go ahead and put them in command. Admiral, Admiral Moon. You are now in command. Um, Earth itself. Let's look at Earth. So, Governor London Gruber. Uh, oh good, he has the foods trait, so hydroponics is good. Um, edict list, uh, doctor in specialized crafts. Uh, refit assembly yards to field. Experimental designs, minor efficiency loss due to non-standard parts. So interceptor, oh sorry, because I have uh, more um, ship uh, classes. Uh, a couple mods that add more ship classes. But right now, I think we're just going to infrastructure projects ignore the edicts for now let's look at our surface um not that bad size 20 we can clear those things out let's go ahead and how's our food three so we'll go ahead and build oh we have a new heir crown princess kalia and tune fantastic um let's go ahead and build a hydroponics farm there and we will build a basic science lab there. Um, here, let's do. Uh, let's actually build a power plant. There, that'll get us started with that. So that's our crown princess. Now our research. So, Elvit Selden. Uh, the, I am using names from the Asimov universe, so uh, maybe an early ancestor of Harry's, the famous Harry Selden. So Spark of Genius, fantastic. Let's do destructive testing, research speed. So we begin destructive testing, using a great deal of mineral energy for a commensurate boost in research speed. Oh, it's a huge research speed boost, but negative that. So let's go ahead and do that just for the base 5% research speed, Ministry of AI. Um, I'm not racing to expand. I'd rather actually do things like influence right now. So we're going to start with influence uh, for Sura Lee, who's also Spark of Genius, expertise industry. So let's go ahead and go ahead and do the Batharian power plant for my research. All right. So what are we discovering? So far, nothing there. Go ahead and increase the speed.